Have you ever wondered what's inside of these chips? And I don't mean what's inside as in data. Uh, you know, there's probably porn on here somewhere. Uh, but I mean, below the silicon layer, uh, what does this chip look like? Uh, well, not this in particular. That's a good chip, but uh, just so it happens, I have this chip here uh, that I already started on, and I figured why not make a video on this. Uh, it might be interesting, it might be a waste of time, but uh, I guess we should start digging into this and see what's there. Okay, here we are. So this is the, the memory chip here. Uh, I already started on it. Maybe we should use some heat on this. I don't want to go... I don't want to go into this uh, secondary layer. I don't want to break it. Maybe we can... Um... There we go. Uh, I'm, I'm, I lack depth of depth of field here because I'm only using one, one of the um, uh, trinoculars on the um, microscope because unfortunately we don't have a camera set up here. So I'm using uh, a phone as a camera setup. So I'm only using one eye to look at this. So the drawback of this, you kind of lose your depth of field. So uh, I should try some heat on this. Maybe we can turn this around. What we got here? Where's this stupid chip? Here it is. Okay. I don't know if heat is necessary. Maybe it isn't, but. Oh, it's coming apart. Definitely getting under there. Let's see. Ooh, brand new knife. Okay, let's see. Can we get under there? Coming along. It's pretty fragile. The moment you apply heat to it, it's it's really starting to come apart. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. Look at this. So it's really coming off now. Guess I ripped some traces off there. Not like it matters. I really want to keep this um, chip as intact as possible. Seems like there's like a protective layer above the. Uh, so just below the uh, silicon layer, this layer here. We're just getting to it. Stay. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. 
I'm probably gonna destroy this thing before I get in there, but. Ooh, that was close. And this chip is multi layer. Like, if, if you actually look for x ray images of these chips, um, maybe I can put one in a video here so you see what it looks like. These chips are designed to never be delid or have any type of uh, physical damage to them. And this is obviously a pretty, pretty serious physical damage. But uh, let's keep digging here. Yeah, it would be helped to have three hands here, but since another mutant, I don't have three hands. Let's put this chip back in there. So what we got here? Well, it's looking like we're getting somewhere. If I can maybe maybe get in here. Yeah, this side of the chip looks a little bit different than the other side. This this bottom this bottom section here. Looks like I'm loosening it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, it's almost like. What is this? Yeah, something's telling me that we're not gonna get far without me actually damaging. I mean, not like it matters. The ship is already damaged, so this doesn't really matter. But. I would have to get beyond this layer here. Let's heat this up. Anyways, I got interrupted with a phone call, but uh, let's heat this up. I wonder if putting flux on it will make a difference. Probably not. Maybe some sort of lubrication idea here. Let's see. That's probably that's probably pointless, but let's give it a try. Yeah, I don't think so. I just heat this up. Yeah, with a bit of heat. It's actually coming off okay. I'm trying to um, not burn my hand while I do this. Yeah. It's coming off. Just needed some heat. Yeah, I scraped it by accident here a little bit, right there. And then we're getting closer, we're getting closer to the bottom layer. Oh, let's see it's lifting here, it's nice, lifting nicely. This is proving harder than I thought. Okay. That chip is friggin' hot. Okay, let's, um... Whoa. on the left that's interesting interesting behavior 
thing I cracked the chip in half. Yeah, I think the heat cracked the chip right in half. I was just gonna say, if I don't damage it with an exacto knife, I'm gonna damage it with heat. No, look at that. Here we go. We definitely got somewhere. You know what? I, think I broke the chip. But there it is. This is what inside the um, memory chip. Let me get another pair of tweezers here. Let's pull this back. So, this is the memory chip itself. The memory uh, layer. I uh, wonder if we can lift this. Well, we broke it. So that's that. Let's look inside here. Can we uh, separate this layer? Wow, what a mess. And my whole workbench is full of chip fragments and I guess it's better than working on a water damaged phone that fell on the toilet, so I had one the other day and the customer didn't tell me until I actually got the phone open. She, she's like, oh yeah, the phone fell on the toilet. Gee, great, thanks. Thanks for telling me now. Oh boy, all right. I don't think we're gonna get any further with this thing. It's really fragile now, it's uh, it's falling apart. So yeah, that's what's inside the memory chip. Bunch of stuff, bunch of wires, bunch of traces, bunch of things. Yeah. Let me see if I can separate it on this side. So here it is. So we can probably separate the top layer. So what have you learned? Probably nothing. <laughs> Probably that, you know, this is not obviously not meant to be disassembled. It's, it's, a, it's a solid piece of silicone for a reason. But, you know, it's nice to see inside. It's nice to see how these chips are made. Um, so it looks like this is the bottom board. That's where everything is sitting, so the, the memory cells are right here. Um, all the traces go to the appropriate uh, pads on the bottom. But yeah, that's it there. Memory chip disassembled. I wanna see if I have any other chips and make a better video in the future. We can probably take, take apart a more modern chip. Um, this is just an EMMC, it's fairly old. This is actually e EMCP. Uh, but uh, yeah that's it here thanks for watching uh, we're gonna have another video coming up soon um, hopefully next week I'm trying to keep a schedule here so um, check our YouTube channel next week I'll, I'll have something new see you next week